WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have most of the U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's down 34 points, about one-tenth percent. Three-tenths for the S&P are 15 points, about one percent for the NASDAQ 100. That's 145 points. Six-tenths for the Russell, 12-point move to the downside. Semis are off 53, one-and-a-half percent. You've got gold trading off nine bucks. Trading at 1950. Silver's off six pennies at 2274. Lights recruit crude trading out at the 8398 level. That's up about five. Natural gas is up 18 cents. Looks like we might have a change in trend here. And the 30 year treasury up 10 ticks. Printed out at 122.24. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner of the ES mini. What do we have? We've got a Rhodes Minton indicator top and a good old fashioned consolidation with inside his bullish structure daily profile. That profile did form yesterday. Key level of support out here is 44.95. You get a close below 44.95, that suggests lower price. You do have the spot volatilics, which is trading a bit lower as well today. Interesting. The NQ right now also formed a new profile yesterday. The uh, bottom of that profile at 15.287, the top at 15.637. Price right now is trading below profile support. A close below that, which suggests lower price. U.S. dollar index still has that uh, sell the D point top. Price consolidating with inside its profile had a nice move yesterday but ran right into resistance right at the top of that profile 102.65 Goldilocks right now is testing the bottom of its weekly profile. The bottom of the weekly profile for gold is 1949.60. Uh, the um, what else is out there? So that's an area of support. In the case of silver trading into its June 23rd. What is it? Uh, June 23rd swing point, and until it closes back above 2290. Price might just go target the bottom at swing point at 22.34. Lights we crude today at close above 83.30 would negate its Rhodes momentum, Rhodes momentum indicator top that formed a couple days ago. That would then suggest higher price. Uh, right now, price trade above both the top of its daily and weekly profile. So we'd have to really go seek out uh, maybe where the monthly profiles are at as well. Now, natural gas. And it looks good so far for a, is today a Thursday? Wednesday. Today's a Wednesday. What we really need to see is on Friday, a close above 285. That's the top of the weekly profile. If we get that, we likely have a change of trend. The 30-year Treasury, that formed a buy the D-point bottom a few days ago. It's traded above the center of that bullish structured profile. You know what that means. That means it wants to go seek out resistance. That's at 125, even Steven. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. I'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. The reality is that now.